بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وبه نستعين الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين In the name of Allah, the merciful, the compassionate and from him do we seek help All praise be to Allah, the sustainer of all the worlds and blessings and peace be upon our master Muhammad and on all his family and companions. Conclusion The preceding 12 truths confirm, supplement and support each other. Coming together in union, they demonstrate the required result. Does it lie in the capacity of any doubt to penetrate those 12 firm walls, each like steel or diamonds, in order to shake the belief in resurrection housed within their closed citadel? The verse مَا خَلْقُكُمْ وَلَا بَعْثُكُمْ إِلَّا كَنَفْسٍ وَاحِدَةٍ Your creation and resurrection is but like a single soul indicates the following meaning. The creation and resurrection of all men is as easy for Allah's power as the creation and resurrection of a single man. Yes indeed, in a treatise entitled Nocta Point I explained in detail the truth explained by this verse. Here we will indicate only a summary by means of a few comparisons. If you want more detail, then refer to Nocta. For example, وَلِلَّهِ الْمَثَلُ الْأَعْلَى And Allah's is the highest similitude. And there is no error in the comparison. If the manifestation of the sun were in accordance with its own will, it could be said that the sun bestows its mystery of manifestation on the numerous transparent objects with the same ease as on a single particle. In accordance with the mystery of transparency, the little pupil of a transparent particle is equal to the vast face of the ocean in receiving the reflection of the sun. In accordance with the mystery of order, it overturns a huge battleship with the same ease as a child turning over his toy boat with his finger. In accordance with the mystery of obedience, it causes a vast army to move with the same word that a commander uses to make a single infantryman move. In accordance with the mystery of equilibrium, let us imagine there to exist in space a balance so sensitive and at the same time so large that were two walnuts to be placed in its pans, it would feel them and be equally able to hold and to weigh two suns. If two suns of equal weight were placed in the pans of the scale, the same power which causes one of the walnuts to be lifted up to the heavens and the other walnut to descend to the ground, will move these heavenly bodies with the same ease. Since in this lowly, deficient and transient world of contingency, the greatest and smallest things are equal and numerous, infinite things appear equal to a single thing. Through the mystery of luminosity, transparency, order, obedience and balance, then of a certainty little and much, small and great, will be equal before the possessor of absolute power. And he will be able to summon all men to resurrection with a single blast on the trumpet, just as if they were one man. This by virtue of the mysteries of the luminous manifestations of the infinite and utterly perfect power of his essence. The transparency of the inner dimension of things, the order decreed by wisdom and destiny, the complete obedience of all things to his creational commands, and the equilibrium existing in contingent being. That consists of the equivalence of the being and non-being of the contingent. Furthermore, the degrees of strength and weakness that a thing possesses are determined by the intervention in that thing of its opposite. For example, degrees of heat are determined by the intervention of cold, degrees of beauty by the intervention of ugliness, stages of light by the intervention of darkness. But if something exists of itself and is not accidental, then its opposite cannot interfere with it, for then a union of opposites would logically have to occur, and that is impossible. In something that exists of itself, there can be no gradation. 
Now the power of the possessor of absolute power pertains to his essence. It enjoys absolute perfection and is not accidental, like contingent being. It is therefore impossible that its opposite, impotence, should intervene in it. Hence, it is as easy for the Lord of Glory to create a spring as it is to create a flower. But if creation were ascribed to causality, then the creation of a single flower would be as difficult as that of a whole spring. For Allah, it is as easy to resurrect and gather all men as it is to resurrect and gather one man. All that we have expounded so far with regard to resurrection, the comparisons indicating it and its truths, is derived from the effulgence of the all-wise Quran. Its sole purpose has been bringing the soul to surrender and the heart to acceptance. It is to the Quran that the right to speak belongs. It is true speech and all speech is subordinate to it. Let us listen then to the Quran. فلله الهجة البالغة فانظر إلى آثار رحمة الله كيف يحيي الأرض بعد موتها إن ذلك لمحيي الموتى وهو على كل شيء قدير قال من يحيي الأظام وهي رميم قل يحييها الذي أنشأها أول مرة وهو بكل خلق عليم يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم إن الزلزلة الساعة شيء عظيم يوم ترونها تزهل كل مردعة أما أرضعت وتدع كل ذات حمل حملها وترى الناس سكارى وما هم بسكارى ولكن عذاب الله شديد الله لا إله إلا هو ليجمعنكم إلى يوم القيامة لا ريب فيه ومن أستق من الله هديسا إن الأبرار لفي نعيم وإن الفجار لفي جحيم إذا زلزلت الأرض زلزالها وأخرجت الأرض أثقالها وقال الإنسان ما لها يومئذ تحدث أخبارها بأن ربك أوهالها يومئذ يصدر الناس أشتاة ليروا أعمالهم فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِسْقَالَ زَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَهُ وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِسْقَالَ زَرَّةٍ شَرًّا يَرَهُ الْقَارِعَةُ مَا الْقَارِعَةُ وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا الْقَارِعَةُ يَوْمَ يَكُونُ النَّاسُ كَالْفَرَاشِ الْمَبْثُوثِ وَتَكُونُ الْجِبَالُ كَالْعِهْنِ الْمَنْفُوشِ فَأَمَّا مَنْ ثَقُلَتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَهُوَ فِي عِيشَةٍ رَاضِيَةٍ وَأَمَّا مَنْ خَفَّتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فأمه هاوية وما أدراك ما هي نار حامية ولله غيب السماوات والأرض وما أمر الساعة إلا كلمه البصر أو هو أقرب إن الله على كل شيء قدير